This is from Touchdown Wire 2023 NFL Power Rankings Training Camp Edition. Uh, Chiefs 1, Eagles 2, Bills 3, Bengals 4. Hard to argue with those. Uh, they go with the Ravens at 11. They have the Browns at 16. They have the Bengals at uh, 4. They have the Vikings at 12. The Seahawks at 13. The Lions at 14. The Giants at 15. And the Steelers at 18. I, Tim, I, it says there's plenty of talent on Cleveland's team, solid coaching staff that seems to be right on the edge of putting everything together, a rush, excellent rushing attack, uh, an improved defense. The Browns could find themselves in the playoffs. I, I'm not sure how people are evaluating. Quarterback play is hugely important. Daniel Jones had a nice year. Let's see him do it again. Jared Goff had a nice year. Let's see him do it again. Geno Smith came back out of nowhere. Let's see him do it. I, I just, I'd much rather take my chances with Deshaun Watson coming back than any of those guys repeating their seasons. Much, much more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I look at this list, 11 through 15. You can make arguments of the Browns being better than all of those teams. I mean, you can make a strong argument, I think, for the Browns being the second-best team in the division right behind the Bengals. I mean, you know, the Ravens obviously have a very talented defense. We know how good they are. It, we're going to have to wait to find out what Lamar Jackson looks like in Todd Munkin's offense and, you know, if they've been able to find the receiver that they've been looking for to give Lamar Jackson an elite a talented weapon that he really has never had in the passing game with the exception of Mark Andrews. But, you know, outside of him, even just looking up, you know, 12 through 15, I think, you know, Deshaun Watson should be better than all those guys. You know, the Detroit Lions are the it team. I get that. And, you know, there's a lot of reason that they are the it team because, you know, they were great at the end of last season. They kept the Packers out of the playoffs, you know, in that last game on Sunday Night Football. Everybody loves Dan Campbell. He's fun. There's just a lot of good things to like about the Detroit Lions, but I don't think they're there quite yet. And, you know, the Giants, I think they're due for a step back. The Vikings seem like they're taking steps back. And, I mean, how much can you really trust that Geno Smith is going to do that again after, you know, a breakout 2022 season? We've seen so many quarterbacks have one great year and then kind of fall off. You know, the first one that comes to mind, I think, is to me, is Ryan Fitzpatrick with the Chiefs. I think, I'm think i trying to think it was 2015 when they missed the playoffs, I believe, you know, on the la in the last game of the regular season, if I remember correctly. So... I, when you look at Deshaun Watson, he has a proven track record, track record of success. Yeah, he didn't play well last year, but he hadn't played in almost two years prior to, you know, when he came back. So, of course, he was going to struggle, you know. You know, getting used to the NFL speed again, working in a new system, working with new receivers, all those different things kind of, you know, co combined together and really made things tough for him. Now, you know, it seems like there's just a focus on football for Deshaun Watson. I think, you know, it seems like, Naturally, there's, you know, an under, kind of a wait and see mentality with this team. I can understand that. I can understand that. But, you know, putting, you know, this team behind some of those other teams just based on quarterback play is a little bit of a question to me. Yeah, I agree with you. One year quarterback, Derek Anderson, popped into my mind. Um, you know, the year the Browns went to the playoffs, he was he was phenomenal. 